Good evening, YouTube. I think it's Wednesday. The migraine I had last night will absolutely kick my ass. So I was good for nothing. My apologies for being late yet again. I don't know, I'm just falling apart. What can I say? It's top 10 time, but late. So I had, while my brain was trying to call out my left ear roll, I had a bit of time to think about what I wanted to do for a top 10. Now, I look at the release schedules and I'm thinking to myself, what's really making me excited? And I don't just look in the UK, I do look all over the world to see what's, what's going to be coming out. So what I thought I'd do is a top, I've, I've created a top 10 of things that I'm looking forward to and where they're coming out and where they're actually listed. Some places aren't listing certain films that I'm really excited about. But there are listings out there. So I've collated 10 together. See what you think. See what you would change on that list and let me know. Then I'll let you know about my one pickup. Trust me, don't get too excited. And then we'll just go through the competition one more time. Okay, guys? Now, what's the first thing I'm excited about? Hobbs and Shaw has a release date in Australia of the 13th of November. So, yeah. Looking forward to that one. Uh, second, this one. Yeah, I'm going to be getting this one no matter what. The Universal Soldier 4K is going to be coming out in Germany on the 3rd of December. Love that film. One of my favourite films ever. Going to be getting that 4K, yes please. Then we have, this is a really obscure one. If you're my age, you'll probably know it. Sniper with Tom Berenger. It's coming out in a digibook format on the 6th of September in Germany. Looks awesome. Real nostalgic film. Bloody good film in my opinion. Definitely worth a pick up. The next one is another slightly obscure one. Christine. Yes, the horror. It's being released in 4K on the 18th of September. And that is going to be in France. Cover looks quite cool. That is a film worth loving in 4K. The vivid colours of that car is just amazing. Next, one that everyone's waiting for, Spider-Man Far From Home. Yes, it's everyone's going to be buying it. Yes, I've all got my pre-orders all sorted out. But I st we still have to wait till the 11th of November, which is really annoying. I don't want to wait that long. But, yeah, it's in my list. Next, we have Gremlins in 4K. I mean, it's like weird science. When it came out, it's still okay to get it. Gremlins is something you cannot not get. And that's uh, 30th of September. That'll be out in the UK. Next is Itsy Bitsy. Now, if you're not sure what this is, uh, we all remember arach arachnophobia. Now, this is like arachnophobia mixed with the essence of child's play and a bit of Annabelle all mixed in. It looks very weird, um, cheesy, but it's out in America on the 1st of October, and that's one I'd really like to get because I like spider films because they scare the crap out of me. So you've got to do it. Next, we have the amazing looking Brightburn. I wish I'd seen it in the cinema, but I didn't get time. 26th of October, that's hit in the UK. That does look brilliant. What a take on the Superman style thing. Bad guy. I like it. Um, second to last now, we're looking at all of the Star Wars. So that's the Solos, the Lost Jedi's, all the originals, everything is being re released in America on the 22nd of September. All new artwork box sets, all of them brand new. They look beautiful. Take a look. See if you can get, uh, get a look on that. But 22nd of September, they're going to sell very well. And the last one really did surprise me. And I think it's a good box set to actually pick up if you can get it. Um, there's going to be a seven film DC four, uh, 4K collection of DC films, basically, in one pack. And it will include Man of Steel, Justice League, Suicide Squad, Batman vs. Superman, Aquaman, Shazam, and Wonder Woman in one pack. Yeah, that's what I'm probably going to be trying to get. If I can get all that in 4K, yeah, that'd be nice. So, maybe what I'm looking forward to isn't that mainstream. You know, it's not, oh, you know, this is out, this is out, this is out, got to get it, got to get it, got to get it. When it's slightly obscure, that's why you have to look around the world to actually find release dates. Because not everywhere puts their release dates out too quickly, which is really annoying. But let me know your thoughts on that. Would you, what, what were you actually looking forward to? Let me know. If you're not sure when a release date is. Tell me what the film is and I'll see if I can find out for you as well. Now, well, my one pickup 
I give this film some shit when it came out. I hadn't even seen it. But I thought, why would they charge this price if it wasn't a pile of shit? Well, I've paid less than two quid for it. So, I'm a completionist. And there's a third one coming out as well. God help us all. But yes, I picked up Escape Plan 2. I honestly don't even know if I'm going to bother watching it. But I've got Escape Plan. And I've got Escape Plan in a still book. So, you just know I'm going to have to get it. And the third one. God help me. But let, let's look up on things. <laughs> let's do the prizes. Prizes for this week are Trainwreck and Paul Block Mall Cop, as you know. And then we have a bit of disaster. We have The Day After Tomorrow and 2012. Uh, just to let you know, guys who won last week, I probably ain't going to get the posting all done until probably Monday. Because uh, I have to go to a specific place. And I don't think I'm going to have, have the lift to do it. So, um, all I'm going to do is do this. You know who, you, who I'm talking about. That'll be posted at the same time, all right? You know you you know you know are if you're watch, watching the video. All right? So, that'll be on its way to you as well, all right, guys? You know, you know who I'm talking about. So, please enter for Friday. I'll make sure I will. I don't care if I'm at death's door. I will fucking do Friday's video. I will pick out your names out of that minion brain with my half-dead hand if I have to. <sighs> and bear in mind, um, you can make this weekend you'll be able to get the American, German, and French releases. If you looked at uh, my Facebook page this week, France had one thing. And you thought our last week was shit. But there you go. Enjoy the rest of the evening, guys. Again, apologies. Short video today. Apologies for being late again. I don't know. I, I, I wouldn't get a warranty if I had an MOT on myself, I'll tell you that much. And I'm back to the hospital tomorrow to have my plastics changed again. So, nice day of pain awaiting me. Take care, enjoy the rest of your night. Be safe with all this rain and shit. Hopefully it's going to be a bit warmer tomorrow, so we'll see. Take care, enjoy the rest of your evening.